On the April 3rd edition of Newswatch 18, we'll tell you who the new LAS Dean is. We know who the best professors at Iowa State are. Stay tuned to find out who. Cyclone Spring Sports are busy. I'll have the updates coming up. The weather has been warmer today than expected, but how long will it stick around? Find out more tonight on Newswatch 18. This is Newswatch 18. Watch 18 starts now. Good evening and welcome to the April 3rd edition of Newswatch 18. I'm David Geiger. And I'm Jane Morrison. A welcoming reception will be held for the new dean of LAS Beach Schmidtman April 9th. The welcoming reception honoring the Dean will start at 4.30 p.m. and end at 6.30 p.m. in the Memorial Union Sunroom. Schmidtman will be on hand to greet guests until a short program begins at 5. All university members and students are invited to the reception. Iowa State has three faculty members who recently ranked among the top 300 best professors in the United States. The Princeton Review has teamed up with RateMyProfessors.com to create a book with the top professors. The chosen 300 constitutes less than 0.02% of the approximate 1.8 million post-secondary teachers. The three Iowa State professors who made this list are Douglas Gentile, a psychology professor, John Warren Monroe, a history professor, and Ann Clem, an accounting professor. April is National Sexual Assault Awareness Month. The goal of this month is to promote healthy sexuality while preventing sexual violence. The Margaret, the Margaret Sloth Women's Center and Access are supporting the SAAM campaign on the Iowa State campus. They want to raise awareness while educating the campus community on prevention. On April 11th, a Take Back the Night rally and march will begin at 6 p.m. at the Memorial Union West Terrence, followed by a reflection gathering at the Sloth House in support of sexual violence victims. Starting June 13th, Ames will have a new assistant city manager. Ames City officials selected Melissa Munt for the position yesterday. Over 160 candidates have applied for the job since the current assistant manager announced retirement. Munt is a graduate of Ames High School and ISU. She has a bachelor's degree in political science and master's degree in public administration from the University of Kansas. Munt is currently employed in Kansas, and she will be paid an annual salary of $103,000. T Galaxy Threads, which is located on Welch Avenue, will be going out of business April 21st. The store has been selling clothing for men, women, and children for over 30 years. Among their merchandise are all, of all shapes and sizes of Iowa State Apparel. Due to their upcoming closing, everything in the store is 50% off, including all things cardinal and gold. So, Allison, what's going on in Cyclone Sports? Tell what's coming up. Stay tuned to Newswatch 18. Welcome back to Newswatch 18. I'm Allie Merkley with your Cyclone Sports Update. The Cyclones women's basketball team will be led by All-American next season. The Women's Basketball Coaches Associated Association has recognized Iowa State's women's basketball player Chelsea Poppins as an honorable mention All-American. She was the only player in the Big 12 to average a double-double this season. Poppins, an Iowa native, averaged 14.2 points a game and 10.6 re rebounds and also selected to the all Big 12 first team. She also led the Big 12 in offensive rebounds. As the majority of sports conclude in April, the fall sports are underway with both spring football practice and volleyball practice. The Iowa State volleyball team has a few points away from making the final four in last December's tournament. And practice and scrimmages have been underway since. Head coach Christy Johnson Lynch said the goal for next, next year is to take the next step. For us, next year, it's about the next step. And the next step means um, winning a Big 12 championship. You know, we've come awfully close, but we haven't won one yet. Um, getting to the Final Four, we've come awfully close, but we haven't got there yet. So um, I think for us next year, it's about getting to that next step, that, that next level. Iowa State was successful in their latest scrimmage against Illinois in Bettendorf last Saturday. Iowa State will head to Center Centerville on April 12th to take on former Big 12 rival Missouri. The gymnastics team is set to compete for a national title. The 24th ranked Cyclones are in Salt Lake City and are set to take on both number 5 Nebraska and number 17 Minnesota. Opponents Iowa State faced two apiece this season. 
The Cyclones split the series with Minnesota and both times lost against Nebraska. ISU will compete against Arizona State, San Jose State, and Utah. The competition takes place Saturday at 7 p.m. The Kentucky Wildcats are 2012 men's basketball national champions. After a 67-59 win over Kansas last night in the title game, this is Kentucky's eighth NCAA basketball title and its first since 1998. Doran Lamb led the Wildcats with 22 points, including back-to-back three-pointers to put them up by 16 with 10 minutes left. Kansas did battle back and was only down by five with one minute and 37 seconds, but it wasn't enough. Anthony Davis is the most outstanding player from the game and finished with 16 rebounds, six blocks, five assists, and three steals. And that's it for sports, Corey. What should we be expecting for weather? It was another beautiful day here in central Iowa. Quite a bit cooler than we saw yesterday, but what can we expect as we move into midweek and into your Easter weekend? I'll have all the details next on Newswatch 18. Happy Tuesday, everyone, and welcome back to Newswatch 18. I'm Corey Hargath with a look at your weather. Another beautiful day here in central Iowa. Quite a bit cooler than what we saw yesterday when we got into the mid to upper 80s in some areas. Currently outside, sitting at 63 degrees. Those winds are kicking up out of the north at 15 to 20 miles per hour with partly to mostly cloudy skies. Across the state, we're seeing way cooler temperatures than we saw when I showed you this graphic last night. 61 in Storm Lake, 68 in Clorinda, 62 in Waterloo. Pella sitting at 68 and 59 in the Quad Cities. So what can we expect for tomorrow? Let's break it down here just a little bit. At midnight, partly cloudy skies. Your temperature right around 54 to northeast wind at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Heading off to class around 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, 50 degrees. Those clouds continue to thicken and hang around and the winds out of the northeast at 10 to 15. Then 3 o'clock tomorrow, the clouds are still here. We're just not going to get rid of them for tomorrow. Temperature right around 58 and a northeast wind of 15 to 20 miles per hour. So for tomorrow, your high reaching right around 60 degrees, and those winds are going to hang on as they come out of the east-northeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour, and those clouds will thicken as we move throughout the day. And taking a look at your extended forecast, 60 once again for tomorrow as those clouds hang on. Thursday, maybe a chance of a few showers, but that chance is diminishing as we move further and further into the model forecast. 59 degrees for your high on Thursday, getting down to below 40. That's the first time we've seen that in quite a while. And then on Friday, the sun comes back out, your high is 61. But then another chance of rain as we move into your Saturday and to start off your Easter weekend, your high is 64. So it looks like it's going to be cool but still well above average for what we should be seeing this time of year. Should be seeing highs only in about the mid-50s right now. So still, we're being spoiled quite a bit. But that's all for weather, so we're going to send it back to the desk. Most ISU students know the joy of finding one of those yellow tickets on their car window after class. Justin Houston and Jonathan Harris parked themselves over with the ISU Parking Division to learn more. It may just look like an ordinary building from the outside, but take a step inside Sweeney Hall and you'll be blown away. Sweeney Hall is home to the ISU Gaffers Guild, the campus glass blowing club. The club gives students the opportunity to get in touch with their creative side. Each semester, the club has between 50 to 100 active members that are able to work in the studio during any open building hours. Adrian Jacobson, a third year member of the guild, says students in the club are able to make a variety of projects. Uh, as a member, you can come in and blow anything you want. So uh, you can make plates or bowls, flowers, or Christmas ornaments. Christmas ornaments are really popular around Christmas time. Pumpkins are really popular around Halloween. Vanessa Priest has always been interested in glass blowing and decided to join the club last year. It's something I've always been fascinated by, and I had no idea there was a, um, a glass blowing club on campus until, uh, until I don't know, I guess maybe a two years ago or so. It takes a couple of semesters sometimes to get into the class and then be able to get into the guild. So. Students and Ames community members interested in joining the guild can visit the club's website and sign up for the beginning class. Jacobson said new members must complete the semester class before they can work in the studio. When the semester starts, they just go down that list and they call people in for classes. And if you can make one of the classes, then you can become a member. And then you take one semester course and then you can start coming in whenever you want after that one semester course. The club holds demonstrations in the studio in an effort to bring in new members. The next demonstration will be held Wednesday, April 4th at 10.30 a.m. and 3 p.m.
The Gaffers Guild will also be selling pieces on Central Campus during Visha. With Julie Farrell, I'm Matt Van Winkle, ISU TV. For more information about the Gaffers Guild, stop by Sweeney Hall on the west side of campus or visit their website found on the Iowa State homepage. And that's all we have for this edition of Newswatch 18. Thank you for joining us. Tune in tomorrow at 8 for more news, weather, and sports. Have a great night. Just mm -hmm. Maybe banter a little.